Lord, you're always there for me. Rescuing when the enemy said it's near for me. Hey YouTube, this is um, Naturally Danny. And I'm on my way to work right now. Um, it's Tuesday morning. I have my coffee. My bun is right. I'm feeling good today. Just had my... Actually, um, this week I kind of, I kind of, I committed myself to just a bit of time of silence um, and prayer to God uh, for various things, and that's what I'm doing this week. Um, and I did that this morning. Um, usually, I'm blasting like some hood music. Just to kind of like get me hyped for the day. It's mad sunny out today. It's actually um, 81 degrees this morning. It's a very warm mid-July type of weather. But I'm not mad at it. Today, uh, one of my prayers I was uh, talking to about God was regarding uh, my weight loss. And um, a struggle that I have is, um, and I've kind of like always had this for a little bit, was feeling like everything was in my power. Um, I have control issues as far as um, if, if, it, if it has anything to do with me, um, I want to make sure that it's within my control. Like, um, I have a real bad issue with not letting people have control over my emotions or my feelings or things like that. Because I used to, I used to see that as a way of feeling like somebody has a, a level of power over you, like they can control you. And over the years, um, I think it was, this is while I was living in Philly, I had a little bit of um, time to go see a counselor. Um, you know, just because at first, you know, a lot of black people were like, oh, you don't want to see a counselor. That means you're crazy, you're crazy. But this time, um, I was going through a lot of... Um, previous relationship that I, I literally could not let go of. Um, I was I'm about to turn this arrow because it's a little, a little toasty. Um, I was a new believer. A new believer in the faith. So I was dealing with a lot of those conf uh, conflicts in my life morally, um, spiritually, and things like that, just trying to uh, come to myself. I was around like 25 years old, I think. Yeah, I think it was around 25. So, anywho, I went to go see the counselor, and, you know, we were talking about a lot of the family issues, and although, like, my dad was one of the many people that was, um, like, in our neighborhood in Milwaukee, he was like much like one or two families that had the dad like living in the home and stuff like that um so at the counselor we were talking about a lot of course they you know talk about like past issues and things like that one of the issues that really stuck out to me was when my dad had cheated on my mom and that was like a terrible time in our family. Um, being the youngest, I kind of felt like I had to like really get in the shape because I seen how hurt my mom was behind that. And I used to always put my feelings on the back burner uh, so somebody else can, you know, take, can have, can do what they need to do to heal, to, you know, get out their feelings and stuff like that. So I 
kind of like learn to not have feelings so that um, you know and, and to, so that the next person can you know handle and do what they need to do because I felt like I was you know I can handle my own like I could deal with my own issues on my own so I kind of like held that for quite a few years and um, and now coming to terms with where that came from and how I dealt with that and even now how I deal with that in my marriage um, in which my husband hates oh my gosh he hates it and I hate I hate it too because it's like I'm so used to um, shutting down like he's a, he's a very um He's a rare dude. Like most most guys, especially like black men, you hear about them being the stern one, the non-emotional, the non-talkative. Nope, not my husband. He's straight. Like, nah, let's talk about this. Let's get this out in the open. Let's let's you know nip this in the bud. And I'm like, mm, I'm good. I'm, I got it out. <laughs> I know. I took in. I accepted what you said. And, you know, let's move forward. But he's like. But um, I'm learning. I'm learning. He's learning. We're two different people. And you know, oftentimes God put opposites together. And we're definitely opposite. We're guarding the weight loss. That was a huge roundabout way for weight loss. But um, my prayer this morning was, you know what? You need to give that to God because you can't do it. All these I've been doing it off and on for so long that I really need to commit that and give it to God because I can't do it on my own. I love to eat. Love to eat. I love sweet, love chocolate. I love bread. I love Oh, listen. If God ever come up with a way, like, you know, you can enjoy all of this and you won't gain a pound, listen, I'll be set for life. But I know that's not the case. Um, God um, loves discipline. God loves obedience. God loves um, commitment. Um community accountability and stuff like that so and you know he blesses that and I want to be blessed by the Lord and thank God like my my weight is not like completely out of control it's um, I mean it's, it's definitely manageable and I know one of my biggest struggles is um, so many people be like, girl, you don't look such and such weight. I'm like, ooh, mm, I am. Capitalism is terrible because of my very underactive thyroid. Oh, <sighs> so I thought that was a good spot, but it was a motorcycle. Darn you, motorcycles and deceiving people and feeling like they got a good spot. I know y'all for real need to have. Like y'all own little parking lot area to where y'all can have y'all little square space and then us regular folks with big cars can get in a regular parking spot. But I digress. Okay. <sighs> so, um, I was saying that um, I usually get... I let my weight slide because so many people tell me like, oh, you don't look... Um, such and such amount of weight and I'm like okay well good I could keep this on for another week another two months and stuff like that and look I didn't gain uh, another 15 pounds or something but uh, right now I am two around 210 I think 210 and um my goal is to be around like 170, I think. 
I think that might be good. 170, 175. I'm pretty tall, so I'm not really uh, tripping off that. I don't want to be skinny. No, no, no. I want to stay a little slim thick, as the young folks say. Um, and plus, we plan on having another child within a year after Zaria uh, turns a year. So, well, we'll start again after Zaria turns one. So, just trying to prepare myself because they say um, after your second or something like that, it's very hard to get your weight off. And then by that time, I'll be like 36 years old. And, uh, you know, metabolism just naturally slows down, and you know, I ain't trying to be too far gone. But, anywho, it's around 7 15. I took your time up enough. Um, I will share some, I'll share some before pictures, which look super, super weird, and um. But, I mean, it's not terrible, to be honest with you. It's really not terrible. It just needs to be managed. And I'm about to manage it. Um, and one day at a time. So, in the meantime, um, I will check back with you guys later. Bye. Yeah. You're all I need Lord, you're always there for me